A few years ago, I made a video where I showed an Italian supermarket and it really blew up. I got a lot of views from Italy, or just Italians in general, who commented on what I got, recommended items I might have missed, or simply judged me. <laughs> I actually learned a lot about Italian food from your comments on that video. For example, the secret to a good pasta is the pasta. Anyway, I recently visited Milan again and I wanted to make a better version of that video where I'll show you a lot more of everything. So we are entering Esselunga. Here are the iconic yellow baskets. I'm so excited, this is my favorite supermarket and let me show you why. First we have fruits and vegetables. A comment I got a lot of my previous video was that I was going too fast and you couldn't see the prices or labels, so here I will really be taking my time, I'll be moving slower and pause on purpose, so if the video feels a bit too slow, just watch it at twice the speed. I got some comments about weighing tomatoes, so here I am doing just that. And here we are at the pasta aisle. There is a huge selection of pasta, all the different brands, all the different shapes. Let me know your favorite. Like someone said in the comments of my previous video, the secret to a good pasta is the pasta. In terms of pasta shapes, we have rigatoni, penne rigate, conchiglie. Rigate means that the pasta has this stripy texture. These are mezzi rigatoni, basically means half rigatoni that you saw earlier. These are fusilli and these are farfalle. We have this other type of pasta that is integrale, which means whole grain. So all of these are whole grain pasta. You can see that it's a bit darker than regular pasta. There is also egg pasta. You have numbers on spaghetti, this indicates the thickness of the pasta. Number 5 is thicker than number 3 and therefore takes a bit longer to cook, 11 minutes versus 9. I was wondering if the numbers mean millimeters, but I learned that they don't, each brand has their own numbering. The higher the number, the thicker the spaghetti. I have so much footage of this aisle and I think I'm just gonna leave it all in, just look around. <laughs> There is a whole aisle just for olive oil. Here I honestly don't have much to add. When I lived in Milan, I was a student and was buying the cheapest Esselunga brand oil. And now that I live in the Netherlands, there is not much selection, so I'm really not an expert. But let me know down in the comments if you have some useful information. And let me know what's your favorite brand. There is a huge selection of the different types of tomato sauce and pesto. Oh no, you guys hated on me so much for buying Barilla in my previous video. Some of you suggested that I make my own pesto and I actually can report back that I have been making my own pesto and it's great. So thanks everyone for the recommendation. Also, in terms of tomato sauce, of course you can make your own, but this is what is sold here. Here we have the canned food aisle. Honestly, I don't have anything interesting to tell you, so just check it out, take a look. This is pannetone and pandoro. These are types of cake that are specific to Christmas. So many types of butter. You have the Sconto Fidati promotions that you get if you have the Estelunga membership card. All sorts of smoked salmon. Different types of cheese. I can identify ricotta and mozzarella. Let me know if you recognize any other types. Different types of ravioli. You have the Estelunga brand, you have rana. There are different fillings, asparagus, spinach, ham, squash, artichokes, meat. Here we have some gnocchi. So much parmesan. Man, I really miss Estelunga. The variety of good food is just insane and I didn't appreciate it enough at the time. Here we have different sauces, including pesto. They have the Estelunga top brand and the Estelunga bio. Not sure what the difference is other than the branding. Let me know in the comments if you know. I think I saw a sign that explained the different Estelunga brands, but I can't find footage of it. So I probably didn't film it. There's tomato sauce, four cheeses, bolognese, all types of yogurt.
Kinder Paradiso! I used to love this and now find it way too sweet. Here we have pre-packaged meat. It's already sliced and weighed. You can just grab it and go. And there's also the butcher. You need to take a number and wait for your turn to get service. I'm not gonna go into these aisles because they're not that interesting and there's so much more to see. Now we're taking the escalator to the second floor. Here we have snacks or merendine. What's your favorite? There are so many, like how do you even choose? Do people who grow up in Italy just try all of these until they find the ones they like? <laughs> Someone commented that pandistelle is not just popular but anche f***ing buonissimi and I agree. Chocolate, cereal, coffee. Here we have a sushi stand. I actually never tried the sushi from Esselunga, I was too scared, but all of their other packaged food is good so I guess it should be fine. There is pre-packaged fish, but then you can also get it from the fishmonger. You also need to take a number. This is the gastronomia counter, which would probably be translated to a deli. Esselunga has these pre-packaged cooked meals that I never tried while I studied here, but I later heard that they were very good. Looks like a really good value for money too. These are the cannelloni with spinach and ricotta and cannelloni with meat. Vegetables, spinach, zucchini, cauliflower, broccoli. Some fried stuff. These are fried potato croquettes and the ones next to them are fried breaded olives that are stuffed with meat more veggies. I would honestly never cook and never order delivery if I lived here now. Cheese. So much cheese. Grilled chicken and potatoes. These are the famous focaccine. You have the plain focaccine, ones with tomatoes and with olives. There's the bakery. They bake bread on site and package it in these bags. If you live outside of Italy and you're curious, this is the price of April in Milan. Look at the incredible selection of wine. Unfortunately, at this point, I was already in a rush, so I went through this section pretty quickly. But just look at it! These are the cleaning supplies that are sold here. Here you can find all the personal hygiene products. This branch also has a parafarmacia. So a farmacia is a pharmacy and a parafarmacia is, from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, um, it's an over-the-counter pharmacy. So you don't need a prescription, but a pharmacist is still present. I love it how they sell these cardboard boxes. It's so convenient because you don't usually need those, but when you do, I feel like it's very tricky to find them and here they're just always here. This is the self-checkout till. You place your basket here. You can choose English as your language if you're struggling with Italian. I think every Salunga also has a large parking lot. 
Okay, now let's venture into the Estelunga cinematic universe. Some Estelunga branches have the Bar Atlantic, which is basically a cafe. They didn't have one in the branch I filmed the video in, so I went to another Estelunga where they did have it. In this particular branch, the Bar Atlantic is kind of in a place of its own. In most branches though, it's like a department inside. Then we have something that is new to me. They didn't have these when I lived here five years ago. It's called La Esse, and it's a smaller version of Estelunga in more central areas of the city. They even have like a co-working space in here with Wi-Fi and everything. And last but not least, while I was visiting, there was a pop-up store called Elizenda, which is basically like a cafe and pastry shop under the Estelunga brand. They branded it as this fancy bakery pastry place. It was really nice. They sell different types of panettone for Christmas. And you could also have a coffee while you were there. This was the menu. This is the selection of pastries that they had. And this is it! I hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting. I've lived in Dublin and Amsterdam since leaving Milan and I spend a lot of time in London and honestly, there is no place like Estelunga. It's such a good supermarket. I think Estelunga should sponsor me. Anyway, thanks for watching, see you later.